Hello, I'm Atsubo George. Now I'm going to share something very special with you today. It's special because I've got a command from the Lord to share this with you. Praise God. You know, yesterday I was talking to the Lord and I just said to him, I said, Lord, you, you, how come you've not spoken to me about this coronavirus of a thing? And then the moment I said it, the word of the Lord came to me. You know, I was just like, oh, whoa, you know. You see, how, you see how, you know, sometimes you say, how does it happen? You know, you just ask the Lord a question and then wisdom. He opens up his wisdom to you and words begins to come to you. See, that's how the Lord deals with us. Praise God. So I, I heard the Lord give me a word. And by the time he's done with me, I said, he, he said, I want you to share this to my people. Praise God. And that's why I'm sharing what I'm sharing with you. Now, number one, you need to realize that this virus is not just something that is happening and God is not aware. You'll be lying to yourself if you say that. Praise God. God is fully aware. Now, when you see um, a, a devastating virus like this type or, or sickness or um, epidemic like this, this kind destroying the lives of people, then you, you need to think that something is wrong somewhere. Now, of course, we know generally is iniquity that brings such misfortune upon men. And so, are you saying this is God's judgment? Of course, you should know that. You should know that. Now, you remember in Second Second Samuel chapter twenty-four, is it twenty-four, twenty-three? You know, David sinned against God. Now, what was David's sin? He he, he numbered the people. In other words, he had a census on the people and, and his own nation. See, he decided to know how many are we? How many is the strength of our army? I want to know. And, and God said that was a wicked thought from David. Remember what I shared with you yesterday about wicked thoughts? God said I was wicked. Now, you want to ask yourself, what's wicked about knowing how many people we are? Isn't it good for proper planning? But God said that was a wicked thought. Praise God. Now I said, because that's how God thinks. Because God had given a command that they should not do that. You know why? Because he wants their trust to be on him and not on their numbers. See, okay, now if you know that we have 3,000 strong men army and then a nation of about 7,000 strong armies coming against you, what are you going to do? But when you realize that, you know what? God is our trust. And you know it doesn't matter what, what troop is coming against. Your eyes will be on the Lord and not on the numbers. So when God says men are having wicked thoughts, that's what he is talking about. So when you see viruses coming like this, it's coming because of the wicked thoughts of men against the word of God. So the question then is, what do we do? Praise God. I'll tell you. Because the Lord... You see, he, he is not, like the Bible says, his hands are not shut in that he cannot heal. See, he is not just aloof from what's going on. But many times we don't ask his mind concerning it. Let me show you something that Jesus said in, in John chapter 3 and verse 14. Jesus was talking to Nicodemus and he said, as, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. See, as Moses, this is Jesus talking to Nicodemus. And he said, the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, it is the same way the Son of Man, that's Jesus, will be lifted up. Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. That's in, in, in Numbers chapter 21. What happened? The people murmured and they sinned against God. And then God, the Bible said God sent fairy serpents. And the serpents was eating or biting up the people. And they were dying. And then the people turned to the Lord and they cried. said, Lord, save us. And God says, Moses, this is what you will do. Build a serpent of brass and raise it up on a pole and, and keep it there. Anyone who looks at the serpent of brass that has been beaten by the serpent will not die. Now, it's amazing that God didn't say anyone who looks at the serpent of brass will not be beaten by the serpent. He says anyone who is beaten by the serpent and looks at the serpent of brass will not die. Praise God. So listen, 
You want to ask yourself, what, what was, which was easier for God to just stop the serpent from biting the people? Or for him to say, look at the serpent and you will not die even if you are beaten by the serpent. Now that's the miracle power of, of the Lord. Praise God. Now Jesus is saying here, the same way Moses did that in the wilderness, the Son of Man today must be lifted up. And here is what the Lord is saying to you, his children. It is time to lift up Jesus. Praise God. And let men see him. Hear me. Coronavirus, it doesn't matter if, if, if wherever you are he's listening to me, watching this, any part of the world. It doesn't matter if you've been affected by coronavirus. Listen to me. If you will look on Jesus today and call upon his name, I'll tell you one thing. It will have no effect on you. Praise God. Listen, you know, you, you don't, we're God's children. Now, I've never been scared one bit about this thing. Never. You know why? Because, you see, you know, we that have our hope in Jesus, we, we don't have place in our heart for fear. You know why? He said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Now, why is he with you? He is with you to instruct you on what to do. See, now, we, we see, it doesn't matter what the doctors say. It doesn't matter what you found out that you have. The question is, are you convinced that the Lord Jesus is with you? If he is with you, then he will tell you what to do. No matter what the other person is saying or the doctor is saying, but he would always tell you what to do. So after listening to the doctor, you go back to him and say, Lord, what would you have me do concerning this issue? And his word will come to you. Stay there until his word comes to you. It is his word that will bring life to you. It's what I'm telling you right now watching this. Listen, send this video everywhere you can send it. It is time to lift up the name of Jesus. It is time to show the world that this is the answer. That's what Jesus said. Who lifted up the serpent in the wilderness? Moses. And who's going to lift up the name of Jesus? You and I. Praise God. Listen, let, let, me, show you, let me show you something in, in, in John chapter 8 and verse 28. Then Jesus said unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then you shall know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father had taught me, I speak this. Praise God. Who is going to lift up the name of Jesus? You. That's what Jesus said. When we lift up his name, listen, in this season, when we lift up the name of Jesus, then the world will know that truly, this is the one who came to give life. Praise God. Now, that, that, that's the instruction that we receive from the Lord. I'll show you another scripture, John chapter 12. Now, now, watch this, verse 31. It says, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto myself. Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Listen. This is the season. I told you this is, this is coming because of judgment. But you see, there's the other side of it. If we lift up the name of Jesus right now, he will begin to draw all men from every nation, from every race unto himself. It is time to lift up the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, begin to tell people, begin to announce it. Jesus is Lord. And if they take their body to him and say, Jesus, you are Lord over my body. I tell you the truth, coronavirus will have no effect on them anymore. And he's going to be cast out. Praise God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you even for this season. Jesus is being made known all over the world. And as we exalt his name, thank you, Lord Jesus, we cast down this coronavirus. It is dead. It is gone in Jesus' mighty name. And I speak healing to you that is watching me right now. Whatever sickness that is troubling you, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Listen, share this video and it's going to bring healing to many. In Jesus' name, amen.